Madam Chair and members of the board. My name is Josh Rose now, and on my own behalf and that of the National Center for Science Education and our thousands of members across the country, thank you for the chance to speak about these great new textbooks. Um, these books present the science that tomorrow's Texans need in order to be scientists, engineers, doctors, entrepreneurs, farmers, oilmen, excuse me, and citizens. They'll give students a solid foundation for life in the 21st century, a century already dominated by advances in biology and our response to climate change. I'm concerned, though, by some of the revisions suggested by review panels this summer, as other people have been before me. Many betray a desire to insert personal politics and sectarian divisions into textbooks. That agenda is seen in an exclusive focus on politically charged but scientifically uncontroversial topics like evolution and climate change. Uh, where unbiased reviewers check for clear lab safety guidelines, thoughtful histories of all sciences, and even correctly formatted species names, review panels captured by ideologues were troublingly selective. These reviews would even have publishers introduce factual errors or reduce coverage of the teaks, building flaws and voids into the foundation of students' knowledge. For instance, one reviewer claimed that covering genetic drift and recombination as evolutionary mechanisms was false and violated teaks 3A. Not only have those evolutionary mechanisms been recognized for decades, but TEK 7F correctly requires coverage of them. These agenda-driven reviewers often relied on materials from creationist organizations to attack accurate science in the textbooks. Introducing such errors and ideology into these books would build cracks, voids, and flaws directly into the foundation of Texas students' science education. To ensure that Texas edition is a mark of quality, not a warning label, I ask you to assure publishers that they won't have to make revisions to satisfy these flawed reviews. Thank you. Okay, any questions? Ms. Knight? Did you understand the, uh, my question of the young man about how his concern seemed to be relayed about perhaps there being a, a, another agenda into exploring the critical section of our, because I think you have made the point how some people have come to the conclusion that there is an effort to undermine that evolution. Yeah, and I, I think I think this addresses your point. There's been some reference made to uh, Edwards v. Aguilar before in this, and one of the things that came up there was the idea that in that case the, the Louisiana legislature had singled out evolution for scrutiny beyond what was given to other scientific topics. And that that's something that, uh, that, that that exclusive focus was itself evidence for the court in that case that, that there was a religious motive at, at issue, that there's not a, a scientifically based reason for focusing so specifically only on evolution. There's a lot of science covered in these textbooks and there's a lot of, of things that, that are deserving of, of discussion. Um, and it's, it's a shame to see so much of it focused only on, and so much of the, the critiques of the reviews that were, were given to TEA and the publishers, focusing only on that one section of it. That, that's a shame. Okay, thank you. Thank you.